Okay. <laughs> YouTube creator letter sends this out. I just took a look at it. On July 25th, 2020, Ridley Scott and Academy Award winner Kevin McDonald. McDonald. <laughs> I'd like a large fry with that, please. Invite you to be part of Life in a Day, a historic global documentary capturing a single day on Earth. Why? That's my question. Why? Videos from around this world will be woven into a YouTube Originals feature film, premiering at the 2021 Sundance Film Festival. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is an incredible opportunity to capture what a day in 2020 looks like from your perspective. <laughs> I have to laugh at that. <laughs> I have to. And connect with your fans in a unique and collaborative time capsule. Bullshit. If an EMP goes off, all these videos aren't going to mean shit because they'll be erased. Not unless you guys are using those... Uh, the silicon quartz uh, memory storage devices that came out last year. Learn more, maybe. We'd especially like you, our creators, to be part of this global moment. Taking part is simple. Yeah, grab a camera, a smartphone, or whatever, film your day. Submit the footage via link below before July 31st. Was this email helpful? It was mildly amusing, to be honest. <laughs> it was mildly amusing. Truly, it was. Well, honestly, a day of my time is basically me sitting here watching YouTube videos, doing research on various topics through, you know, internet searches, YouTube videos, and whatever. Because I don't have fucking books. Books are fucking expensive. YouTube videos are free. Just information should be free. Relevant, pertinent to what I'm looking for. Most of the time it's just video games. Although, I am a stickler. I would love to have a Primo's official strategy guide for Skyrim. It would probably be that thick at minimum. Hardback. Yeah, hardcover. I'd like one of those. This is, this is my average day. I'm not always yelling, ranting, and raving, and being a total fucking prick. I'm not always being angry. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm just looking at games. Because, like I've said before, gaming is the best all-if-null of society on a holistic level. Uh, there was another YouTube channel, either Extra Credits or the, the Game Theorist with MatPat, who looked at the artistic community and how it's an all-if-null of society at that level, because the... The renaissance of the arts went much quicker than the renaissance of society. The, the progression, uh, the expression of artistic uh, eras, uh, classical, post-classical, pre-modern, modern, post-modern, post neo, you know, pre-neo, neo, post-neo, post -neo, all those phases of artistic expression. How you went from uh, things like Donatello, Michelangelo, the, the Sistine Chapel, classical, Renaissance art. Then you went into, oh, what was his name? The dude who painted people's faces with abstractionisms. Picasso, that's the one. Postmodernism. That jump took far less than the classical era's existence in the Elizabethan times holistically. So that's that's why I look into the gaming industry and the gaming 
psychology and sociology because it's a better all if no like that experiment with uh, World of Warcraft where people went into a raid they got a disease from the raid in game then they carried it into the real world and spread it and actual real world scientists were looking at the implications of a virus spreading like that in real life from the example in World of Warcraft that's why that's why I give a fuck about the gaming industry so damn much it is the best all if no of society holistically regardless of race and species because you know a few billion years from now maybe another species takes up gaming or looks at what we did with gaming or looks at what humanity did with gaming or what this one country of the human species did with gaming they're gonna learn a lot of shit from looking at gaming they're gonna learn so much about satire parody sarcasm um, what's the other thing documentaries that uh, information was put into games specifically for people to remember because there's a bit of that in there as well don't know where it is I don't remember it's been a while since I looked for it but there's definitely documentary style games out there I just remembered an old PlayStation 2 title um, Medal of Honor Underground I used to actually own that one it was a documentary style during the World War with the French Resistance. And it actually had uh, one of the uh, one of the resistance fighters give um, it was in the bonus features on the disc. Podisky. No I'm not certain. I'm not certain that I'm pronouncing that name properly. Podisky. One of the French resistance fighters gave her story <laughs> of what she did. You know, a small snapshot of what an average day in in her French resistance fighting was. She gave a nice comical example of that in the bonus features of that particular game. I still wish I had that disc. Unfortunately, my mom snapped it in half several years ago. It was a it was a literal collector's item, literally. It was actually a um uh what variation of the game was it? It was a collector's edition. I'm never going to see one of those again. Well, then again, you can probably find some YouTube videos about it. Anyway, enough of me reminiscing. That's just a nice example of how gaming is a, a better all of no of society than the artistic community because digital media is an accelerated version of the arts and entertainment industry holistically combined so yeah enough of me rambling this is gonna be the video that I give to them even though it's not July 25th right now my average day is the same there's no point in me writing what down what I'm thinking of saying just to re record it on that particular day there's no point <clears throat> so as soon as I saw this I'm like I know exactly what I'd want to say now I've said it I don't have to record it on the 25th even though I'll be more than willing to wait until the 25th to actually submit it This is a horrible misrepresentation as a snapshot of what I do on my channel. <laughs> Most of it's satire, sarcasm, and parody. 
at a malicious level. <laughs> well, till next time, here's something that you can take away as an accurate representation of my channel. Fuck off. Ha, 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 ha.